channel. So, uh, some quick updates on our current situation so far. So, uh, what day are we on now? Is it day 11? Uh, on. I think it might be day 15, nearly two weeks now. Yeah, it'll be two weeks tomorrow. Um, we're living in a tent. Or fake pumps in a tent. Um, yeah, so I've not bothered checking any emails because the last time I spoke to the Housing Association they told me it'd be 10 days before we even received that letter. So we're going to give it 10 days grace, which will be tomorrow. Um, I can start checking emails and making phone calls again to see if they have actually received that letter from the from the emergency housing. Other news from around camp, we had a little bit of a calamity yesterday and unfortunately me and the missus uh, had a bit of a fallout or I pretty much went into a soul because, would you like to tell them or shall I tell them? It was an accident. It was an accident. But uh, my Blue Etty, the power station that we're using to power things, just to make things easier, plugging USBs in. I put it in the boot, one for security and two, so we can carry on charging that while we're driving about. Um, the missus, beautiful missus, you are beautiful. Um, opened the boot without realising it was in the back to get a washing out and um, it basically just fell out onto a concrete floor in the road and that has kind of damaged the solar power connector to the um, Blue Etty power station now. Um, it's mad all the front of it and obviously you can imagine as soon as I heard it was like <laughs> it was brand new um, it's, it's luckily now it's not the only power source of power we've got but it's no longer brand new it's damaged the back of the car pulling the socket out of the plastic it's damaged the plug for charging from the car and now we can only charge via solar by wrapping the wire around the back of the power station so Luckily it still works to a degree and we have got uh, electrics now in the tent. Apologies for the brightness on the screen. We are currently filming with the phone and I have no filters for the phones. Um, we have just been to the lockup to put more things in storage. We're slowly clearing our um, previous home. Uh, we've still got a fair bit to do and a lot of the things I think we may have to either sell or donate to other people because um, things like large beds and large TVs we're not going to be able to use them for any time soon by the looks of things we are currently just on our way to our local shopping centre Asda uh, to pick up some tea it has been an absolute pain trying to keep things fresh and chilled around camp today we're experiencing 29 degrees it is a Sunday um, it's absolutely cracking the flags um, ice isn't lasting two minutes even with the wool in that um, cooler at camp and it's, it's melting after a day so we're having to buy the meals as we're eating them which is a real pain in the backside because we're having to keep coming out which is using more fuel um, and just using money we haven't really got unfortunately but we need to be up Pain in the arse these things. So, the missus has just found these um, black hole doors with wheels. These might be very handy when we have a caravan, just a, a bit more storage outside. Um, these are heavy duty trunks. So, I might have to come back for a couple of them. One or two, just for um, pots and pans, things like that, depending on how large the um, caravan is. What we're saying here. Yeah? Brilliant, right, so we know where they are now anyway. Oh, these are just it's one so of my nice, favourites. Yeah, it's so hard to keep through at the camp because but the tent is so, so hot. Them, so yeah, so we'll have some of them now. Oh, we've missed fruit so much. Absolutely amazing. So convenient as well. Oh, it's like a drink in a bag. 
so we've learnt our lesson now um, regarding buying more than we need because we can't store it and it just goes bad to be honest so uh, we're just buying what we need as and when I think this is going to be tonight's tea, some sort of... Oh, they're all actually really nice, aren't they? It is hot in the car though as well, darling. Sweet and smoky chicken pasta, oh, that looks really nice. Um, I might have... I'm having this one. That looks really nice. And there's mine, that's what I'm having. <laughs> Scan it up, buttercup. Do you want extra salad? Yes, please. Yeah, get one of them for extra salad? There we go, we'll have that as well. I always forget to scan things before we put them in the trolley yeah, on the usual yeah. And then we get to the counter to pay and it's like, oh can we just scan your goods, sir? And then we look like thieves. Look Shampoos. That's really nice, that one. How much is that one? £3.50. That looks like £3.50. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> There you go. Wrong with that, but I don't think it'd be good for my hair. That one's apple. You're washing your hair in <laughs> apples. 95 pence. 79 pence. I'm not being. could even buy two for that. It probably would be okay. <laughs> one thing I have really, really missed um, since being in the tent, ladies and gents, is a nice yogurt. Oh my gosh. So I plan to eat this before we get home. I'm going to get some plastic spoons and eat this in the car. <laughs> Ooh, that's <laughs> nice. The missus is on a toffee sundae. You eating that in the car? Because I'm eating mine in the car. <laughs> I'll eat it with my fingers yeah, if I have to. Terry. Yeah. So we just realised that that salad is going to be crunchy and dry, so we're on the hunt for some, uh, some lovely salad dressing. Not a sweet chilli, is it? No, we need a salad dressing. Salad oh, French dressing, that should be nice. Yeah. Yeah, try that one. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Balsamic dressing and rich and creamy garlic herb dressing. Season. Do you not just want one of these salad? How much was that one we just got there? I don't know, but that's getting in it. That's like lettuce, isn't it? All right, okay. That's got a nice one. Oh, babe, melon. Oh, Melons. <laughs> Stop, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. We have got a massive craving for fruit at the minute. The missus has just told me, oh, I didn't know I did it all the tubs. She's in here every pissing day and she didn't see this. This is ridiculous. She's selling porkies, I don't believe her. So we found the uh, temporary cutlery for our yogurts in the car. We're gonna go uh, eco-friendly and go with the wood, I think. Yeah, definitely wood. We can use these anyway. Yeah. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Revels, revels, revels. Let's revel in a bag of revels. Move it tonight, darling. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Have them. On the milk aisle, unfortunately, we can only use the long life again because we've. Oh, shh. <laughs> yeah, we needed them anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so I'll have three of them <laughs> and try and store these uh, in a shady place. Yeah. Right, so. We need ice now, I think. The bag of ice, that should last just until we get to camp. <laughs> and that is it, I think, we're done. And now we're looking for chips. Hang on, we're not in America, are we? What do we call them? Doritos. Yeah, Doritos. <laughs> Americans probably call them Doritos as well. So, so we'll have them. Are we getting a sweet, um, a... We've got one of them, already. Yeah, but it's full of your bleeding, horrible, heat wavy one. So I'm gonna get a fresh one. Just for tonight with the movie. So, the lovely Janine is um, in charge of cooking tea tonight, but if she cooks me salad, I will be absolutely really annoyed with you. <laughs> and I think we both need a bit of this at the minute, so um, I'm gonna grab a pack of them. Also guys, I've still got this horrible ear infection, and I think it's finished off the uh, last bit of hearing out of my ear. I've literally gone deaf in the ear. Oh, lemon ice, lemonade ice lollies. I think they beat your orange. They are white. Look at them. Ah, whites, I'm a lemonade drinker. Ah, whites, ah, whites. All these ones are just absolute crap. 
It tastes nothing like the childhood sweets at all. This will be water by the time we get to the car. <laughs> so this is now usually the point where we get pulled up and have everything scanned because I forget to scan something in the trolley. That just breaks your heart. I mean, it's the smallest trolley in Asda and it's still costing £41. Oh my God. You'd eat your nice for the next three days, darling, tell you now. Okay, but hope all this is going to fit in the boot of the car. That's over here. <laughs> there she is. Right, so we got half the house in the back. <laughs> half in the front. Just try and keep it in the shed, darling. And I'm going to devour this right now. Oh, everything's just so hot and warm. Where's my yogurt? This is going to be a taste sensation. Ladies and gents, I've just got yogurt all over me. Let me go down, do you want the lid? Mm. That's warm already. Dipped in my onkin. Get in my face. Mm. Oh, babe. You should grab one of these. And so we're going to do a quick receipt readout because that just hit us right in the pocket uh, for £43.81. Although we did get a £1.85 saving. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, at £41.96 because the majority of that little shop, just for today, was uh, primarily water based and liquid absolutely ridiculous so um apparently the the uh what, what's that thing i've just there pineapple slices uh, are classed as fruit lollies in our local grocery store asda we got six of them at 50p so that was three quid <clears throat> two salad bowls at two pound each we got an extra salad just a salad in a bowl uh, to bulk out our teas um that was 96 pence um, the beautiful missus got a um, your little toffee yogurt pot mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I got an onco, onco <laughs> an onkin bio pot. Absolutely my favourite yogurt. We got a salad dressing for the salad. Um, one melon. Um, wipes just for essential cleaning and just touches hands and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We got a box of wooden cutlery um, for my onkin big pots we've got chocolate a bag of revels to revel in tonight while we watch our film because we are going to try and relax tonight a little bit um i've got a bit of an addiction to coca-cola unfortunately and that is probably the most expensive thing on the list at five pound 80 but six tins of that just to um crack you around it's just thirsty, ease, yeah. easier you show you because you do get very thirsty around camp um we've got a bottle of lemonade we had to buy three bottles again of long life milk they nearly knocked me unconscious taking them off the shelf um crisps what crisps did we get doritos. oh doritos yeah at two pound fifty um the milk was one pound forty five dip um was one pound fifty biscuits again none of this is essential but you know what is essential these days it's all full of sugar and crap anyway food isn't it ice cream did we get ice cream ice lollies ice lollies lollies £2.50 and £2.25 again for a piece of frozen flavour <laughs> uh, frozen two for one what's that? 75 pence the ice lollies well, what are the £2.50 and £2.25? we've got actually saving of 75p oh right we've got a saving of 75p <laughs> on that um, two bags of ice at £1.30 they are literally going to be watered by the time I finish them we've got home <laughs> and two plastic bags two Plastic oil bags, 60 pence, ridiculous. Anyway, let's um, drown our misery by finishing my Onken Big Pot, Spile Pot, and getting back to camp before this ice melts. Oh, there's my twin. It's a nice one. So we're back in the tent. 
content and before we carry on with today's update video i'd just like to thank each and every single one of you absolutely awesome amazing people who have decided to join us on our journey and supporting us either by subscribing to the channel sending us your absolutely fantastic comments that are really uplifting our spirits or um, supporting us by other means we really do appreciate it. and it's really really humbling knowing that people out there are still willing to give when they're probably in the same situation as us so absolutely amazing community spirit and i can only thank you from my heart when the caravan does arrive you can be sure i will give you a guided tour unfortunately we have been banned from filming on the actual uh, campsite now because people are recognizing where we are which is totally understandable because again this is a business um she don't want people turning up unannounced which is fair enough so um videos inside the tent and then obviously my regular content if you're into bushcraft outdoors and all that you can find that on there that'll be coming to the channel but uh, most of the updates now will probably be coming from shopping trips days out and in the tent touching on the messages we have received from you absolutely fantastic people out there touching on the messages that we have received from you absolutely fantastic viewers out there um they have been absolutely incredible for the most part again um some of them about us chuckling laughing um and uplifting our spirits again for the most part you are going to get the troglodytes um i've caught some of the comments and i've now banned my missus from reading the comments and i just read out the nice ones to her just to save her mental health it is funny listening to you guys trying to come up with your own perceptions of why we are homeless and what has happened to us um, it is all a bit personal family uh, family related and i will touch on that in a future video um, but it is a bit long-winded and it's not even that special to be honest we have been on the fringes of homelessness or houselessness for the last seven years um, this is the second time it's happened and obviously um, this is where we've ended up what has made us laugh though is people's different perceptions of homelessness and it seems to be very very varied um, now it seems that if i am not sat at a set of traffic lights offering to spit clean someone's um, windscreen for 50 quid i'm not homeless if I'm not sat on a park bench, uh, inebriated, and too drunk to walk, I'm not homeless. And if I am not lay on a pavement, semi-conscious, foaming at the mouth with a syringe next to me, I'm not homeless. You can be homeless or houseless and still have your job, you just haven't got a house. Um, other people are um, offering the advice that if you can afford to pay £616 to camp on a campsite for a month, then why don't you just go get a private rented? Well, two reasons for that. We can't afford and we can't sustain £616 a month. This was a one-off and we didn't pay it. It was a very, very kind family member who paid this one for us and we have got to pay her back. Um, second, it's not as easy as just going to a private rented accommodation of any rent amount and just saying, yeah, I'll have that. Thank you very much, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of private renters don't like pets. We've got two dogs, as I've explained in the video, in videos before this. Um, also, the one occasion that my missus did go and um, look at a private rented, there was over 30 people on the same day looking at the same property. So, and also, a lot of private renters are selling up their properties now anyway, so they are few and far between. But again, the majority of the comments are just absolutely immense support on our, on our behalf. But again, the majority of, but again, the majority of comments we've had, especially on the first video, um, have been just absolutely immense support. And I do apologise if I have missed your comment. We are reading them, and we are backtracking. But I think that one's had over 400, maybe 500 um, comments now. So we are trying to get through them and reply, or at least heart every single one. Um, the troglodytes comments won't even make it on there, so we will be getting rid of them. Uh, there's just no need for it. And you know what? We forgive you because everyone thinks they're untouchable i did and you believe it can't happen to you but as i've been told many times in the comments and i believe it's right everyone is only a couple of paychecks away from destitution so you know what i mean um i hope it doesn't happen to you and your family but if it does just remember the comments you've left on this video or maybe someone else's video who's gone homeless or houseless and many of you fantastic commenters out there have also pointed out to me that i'm not homeless i'm simply houseless and that is very true i mean this is pretty much a canvas house people live like this as i've said 
in previous videos and I myself could very very comfortably live like this I have also said that my background and my hobby is bushcraft survival prepping and all them sorts of things my missus background is fluffy cushions nice quilts hair straighteners done fingernails and makeup so you know this is not suited to her maybe for a week because she loves camping but probably no longer but I did make a conscious decision about two years ago although I have um, been in bushcraft for 15 years now probably more but two years ago I made the conscious decision to um, start prepping and start attaining gear that would help us in this exact sort of situation not once did I think I'd have to use it but here we are um, the canvas tent the power units um, gas all that sort of stuff was all collected over um, a two-year period apart from this this tent is pretty new um, and thankfully um, the guys over at canvas tent shop sent this for review um, and this was done a few months ago you can check the review out on the channel because what my that's what my channel's all about gear reviews outdoors uh, cooking activities while camping and all that good stuff but that is uh, pretty much the update for today ladies and gents i don't want to bore you um, if we get any more updates tomorrow when i've checked my emails i will include that into a video but tonight we're going to watch a uh, film we've had i've had my prawn salad and it was absolutely disgusting no it was not nice at all and with that extra salad on top with that um, french dressing oh but yeah we've got doritos and we've got some chocolate and we're going to watch a film but before i let you go we have got some parcels to open some care packages so let's crack these open now and uh, see what we got so the first one i think i know what this is i think i did mention it is was um it is a review item that's come to the channel and this is from i think there is a note in the top with some kindling as well this is from twisted fire starter and he's left a, a little note in there for us so i'll quickly read through this hello and thanks for taking time to look at my products i've put a selection of my things for you to try they're all pretty self-explanatory um, what i use to make them is all natural and sustainable oils and waxes wood fibers cotton rope that is all treated by myself i'm gonna go all over the tent try and dig around so the first one looks like a huge cigar <laughs> I'm guessing that is the fat rope. Fantastic. Oh, we've got lots of goodies in here. Lots and lots of goodies. Oh, the twisted fire starter. I like the tin already. So that looks like this sort of packing stuff. Um, treated with a petroleum base. So what you do, open the chapstick, run a bit up, break it off, and that will take a spark from a fire steel or a flame. A separate video for these ladies and gents um, if you do enjoy the outdoors be sure to check out the other content the original content on the channel oh, there we go got lots of them in there if you can see them do we need it let's put that down because that's sharp smell coffee coffee roasters that is a posh bag that bloody hell this is from i believe sticks outdoors go and check his channel out he's another outdoorsy gent who likes to build um, natural teepees in the woods um, and he's up for all sorts of um, challenges as well but that looks absolutely fantastic thank you mr sticks i'll be sure to try this in a video um, I'm better off reading the front of it, aren't I, actually? That looks like a, a, a very posh... Ooh, it's beans. I need a grinder. Perfect. So, the Blue Mountains of Jamaica provide ideal conditions for gro uh, growing coffee. <laughs> I thought you said grooming coffee then. <laughs> e. uh, coffee, small farms set in the sheltered locations below the majestic rainforest produced the world's finest coffee beans hand-picked with meticulous care and processed processed under the control of the jamaica coffee industry board Ooh, well that definitely smells oh and it's a a jackra winner platinum 2020 
So what happened to the other four years? Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Sticks. The caravan is going to be here on Wednesday. It has been confirmed. Tony is going to fetch it down himself, so I get to shake his hand and thank him personally. But the tent, will, uh, the caravan will be here Wednesday. So no doubt the missus is going to have me around B&M's, known bargains, looking for cushions for the caravan. You know what's going to happen. Right, I bid you good night. Take care. Until the next one, you stay crafty. Bye-bye.